Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Hypnospace Outlaw. So you can see here, we've been assigned a formal case file now for those, uh, <clears throat> those harassment uh, violations that we found in Teentopia. And while we could just kind of wander around Hypnospace and try to find a whole bunch of other stuff, I guess maybe we ought to try to clean this up. Now it says here, multiple citizens have been re reported for harassment. We sort of reported multiple citizens, right? We, did we were trying to report both Zane and Corey. But Dark Twilight Tiff is the only one who actually is accumulating points here. I'm thinking that this might be trying to tell us that there are, there's more instances of harassment not necessarily involving these same people. So I guess let's uh, let's continue looking through Teentopia. See if we can't find anything else out there. Plus, like I was saying last time, teens love crime. Let's see, we didn't actually go to all of these. We didn't go to Ashley's Spinning Planets. Boy, it takes forever for stuff to load. My name is Ashley, and I'm in the third grade. I found these planets on Hypnospace. These planets are made up, they are not the real ones in outer space. I like them because they are fun to imagine about. I was exactly this kid, 100% uh, this kid. Note from Ashley's mom below. Also, what is Beef Brain Shield Pro? Also, why does it say I am 13 years old? It does, in fact, say that you are 13 years old. How old are you in third grade? You graduated, so she should be like nine-ish? Huh, that is weird. I wonder if we're supposed to be gathering something from that. I think nine-ish. Right, because you, like, you graduate from school when you're about 18, and that's 12th grade, so... Hmm. Alright, hold on. Let's, uh, there's, there's imaginative stuff about planets. That planet is named Jesus. This planet is pretty, like God. That's why I call it Jesus the Planet. Uh, hold on. I want to see... yeah, notes. Hello, this is Ashley's mother. If you haven't heard, there's a disease called beef brain that hypnospace can cause if you don't protect your kids. I am frankly mad that none of you are involved with your children enough to know about this. Click the shield to find out more about how to protect their brains. And please install it to your kids' pages. Hmm, what do you want to bet that this is a great big scam? We did... This is not the first time we've seen the, the word beef brain, or the phrase beef brain, right? I don't think so. I think I think we've seen something else. Dr. Mink's PhD. Hey now, that's very interesting. Dr. Mink's PhD. <laughs> Big Brain Hospital, 223 years old. Hey, I don't think this is legitimate at all. What if I told you that Merchant Soft has a dirty little secret? Well, I'm telling you now, it's true. The Hypnospace headband has been found to cause beef brain. A disease that is baffling doctors and sending regulators knocking at Merchant Soft's door. Oh no, look at that brain tissue. It's definitely... Is it supposed to look like that? It's probably not supposed to look like that. What is a brain... Okay, never mind. Are they actually this pink? People say gray matter. I don't actually know what a human brain looks like. I know what they look like in cartoons. But if not dealt with, uh, <laughs> getting back on track, beef brain can cause exhaustion, extreme headaches, and even death. To form Hypnospace's images and sounds, radiated electrons are beamed into your front shield and sidial lobes. I'm guessing that those are the ones on the front and the sidey. Uh, when very bright colors are transmitted, the extreme radiation literally cooks your brain. Okay. Until Merchant Soft fixes it or are shut down by the feds, it is very dangerous to browse Hypnospace. But we have a solution that I'm assuming we would like to sell you. Our team of scientists and engineers have conducted over one million medical science experiments, which have resulted in the ultimate solution, not a phrase you should use for things generally. Uh, turns out I'm at risk. Did you know that? Well, probably we can't actually report anything on this page. I mean, like, it's obviously fake, but I kind of wonder. This is not targeting an individual, but... Distribution of instructional information on illegal activities, manufacturing of profane or pornographic imagery. No, I guess none of the stuff on this page is technically against the rules. By adding the Beef Brain Shield Pro Redition Reduction sidebars to your page, you can reduce your risk of beef brain by over 800%. Wait, what does it mean to reduce something by 800%? If you reduce it by 100%, that's the maximum... That's all the percents. That's percent means... Okay. Alright, let's not worry about it. 
And the best news briefing, beef, beef brain, Shield Pro is completely free. Download your sidebars today and get this official badge to let page visitors know that you're protected. So, what's the scam then? If they're not charging money, something tells me Dr. Minx does not have anybody's best interest at heart. This is going to be a virus, right? I mean, let's find out. No, is it really just downloading images? Huh. What, are, what order are these in? Why are these in reverse date order? Put the new stuff at the top. Oh, that's right. We did download that sound effects thing. Oh, whatever. I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, they really are just images. Huh. Weird. So, yeah, what's the, what's the scam here? How does this... Is it just funny to make people put this this obviously fake thing on their page i was assuming that minx was you know trying to trying to get some money out of people or trying to infect their uh their computers with something sorry their computers their actual human brains i guess yeah very weird you know what i want to do i want to start keeping track of the headband ids i don't know how easy these are to fake so we have a we have a note thing a note note thing can I not have the note thing up over my... That's annoying. 00656A. Okay. 656A. Okay, this... The citizen data thing is a separate page. It's not part of the web browser. That's actually great. That makes this way easier. Oh, wow. You can't move the cursor around, though. You can only type... All right. Yeah, you can't, like, move the cursor back or use the home key or anything. This operating system is terrible. I hate it very much. Can I just move this? Okay, cool. Uh, this one is Minx. We're going to keep track of these because there's probably some information to be had by doing so. And now, out of curiosity, take me to... Uh, okay, this is what is registered as that headband's homepage. All right, well, interesting, but not necessarily... No, there's, there's something illegal going on here, right? It's Minx. There has to be. But whatever it is, we didn't find it yet. Okay, so... She's so worried about Beef Brain. Why isn't she advising Ashley to use softer colors? Is there anything actually interesting here? This planet is so small it has swimming ants living on it. This planet... Oh, sorry. The, the text is below the relevant planet. This is the mustard planet. It has mustard instead of water like normal. Wow. It is where mustard comes from. They have mustard spaceships that go get it and bring it to the King Foods on Earth. Earth is our... Earth, parentheses, Earth is our planet, in case you were confused. This planet is really big. It's made out of lines. Well, okay, you're not wrong about that. I named this planet Rebecca. Rebecca is my sister. The, plen the plenty has all kinds of shapes on it. And my sister is good at drawing. I love Rebecca. Did they invent? Uh, did, did they invent spell check in the three weeks we were gone? And she typed something wild here, and it just got auto corrected into plenty. Josh the planet. This planet gets mad all the time for no good reason. That is why I call it the Josh planet. Just like Josh. Okay, Josh gets mad all the time for no good reason, huh? That's very interesting to me. Moon the planet. This is the moon planet. It is different than the normal moon. It has waterfalls on it and a secret rainforest on the inside. It's like that uh, Mario Odyssey level. Me and my friends were digging here, and that is when we discovered the rainforest with the monkeys. <laughs> moon 2, the planet. It is not the normal moon. It is full of water like a water balloon. <laughs> Please don't poke it. That would be bad. Okay, I just realized something. Hold on. We should definitely stamp this beef brain pad, uh, page. Uh, when I look at this, I become angry, and so my eyes are red. Because I too am a cartoon. Okay, Josh, we're gonna we're gonna just execute a search here for Josh. So this page actually shouldn't even be in Teentopia, because this kid is nine years old. Maybe eight or nine probably. That's weird. Why how did the headband get the wrong information in it? I guess that information probably had to be entered somewhere. Okay, this is the only page that has Josh. Yeah, Josh has a tag. Interesting. So we don't know anything about anyone named Josh. Huh. What is this, uh, what is this Ronnie's Club thing? What other pages are part of Ronnie's Club? Oh, Ronnie, right. 
I forgot that that dude's name was Ronnie. Randy's Dino World. He is eight years old in third grade. Okay, apparently eight or nine. Oh. Okay, so it's a thing in the real world, right? That um, there's a bunch of services that like collect your age. It's like, hey, this page might have adult content on it, or this page might collect your information. Uh, and it's against the law in a bunch of places to collect information on people who are younger than 13. I wonder if that's what's happening here, is that uh, Hypnospace is skirting the law by pretending that young users are 13. All right, let's see here. He's eight years old in third grade. He loves dinosaurs. It's <laughs> it's the Pizza Dancosaurus, remarkably similar to just the normal Pizza Dance guy, it turns out. Hey, no, stop, stop doing that. That's the Teentopia Hypnospace Anthem? Really? Okay. Well, so we know a couple of things about Randy here. First of all, uh, Hypnospace is lying about his age. Secondly, he's a total moron. Because what kind of person makes a bunch of pages about dinosaurs and doesn't include the Ankylosaurus? This is ridiculous. What, did you just forget? Did you just forget about the best dinosaur? Some might go so far as to say the only good dinosaur. This is not a real link. My other page. That's not true. The Ankylosaurus is not the only good dinosaur, but it is the best one by a huge margin. Uh, I am on Hypnospace every night. I am so sleepy so I can go to bed early so I can go on Hypnospace more and more. I love Hypnospace. That's terrifying. The kid, the kid is intentionally going to sleep just to spend more time in Hypnospace and missing out on his actual real life. Hey, it's like a real world version of that thing that uh, old people are always saying about kids on their phones. My birthday is January 10th. Okay, birthday's not represented on here. I was just going to see if that was also wrong. Uh, he loves squishers. These aren't actually buttons. These are just him saying stuff, and he put them on buttons because that's what web, web pages look like. It actually looks a lot like... Um, what was that page? The page that the dumpster was making fun of. Like This is, this is almost exactly the same design, right? With the, the header and these buttons are the, the same style. Weird. It must just be like a standard template. Okay, well, this turned out to be kind of a dead end. Uh, back to Ronnie's Club search. Let's see if anybody else... Basically, what I'm looking for is anybody else who mentions Josh. Because Josh, a page that says Josh on it won't show up in the search results unless Josh is also a tag. So some uh, somebody else could talk about Josh and just not put him in the tags, and he wouldn't have showed up. Uh, we already know about Corey. What is Monarch? Oh, Monarch the... Yep. Oh, we should look, down, we should look through this page here. Okay, there's not really anything on that page. I'm just thinking, you know, it, it is still the case that we've never found a game that you could play to give HypnoCoin, but the HypnoCoin guide said that might be a thing. I would love to earn some HypnoCoin. Or just be given some HypnoCoin. Either one of those things is fine. Some people have a very strong work ethic. I have a strong receiving things uh, uh, ethic, and I am willing to trade work for things when I am not able to get things in other ways. All right, let's talk. Let's let's check out Squisher's kid here, Shantia Cook. I am a Squisher's champion. Are you 13 years old exactly? Gee, what a surprise! This citizen's free trial has ended. Oh no! Did we know about free trials? That's just the Ronnie's Club banner. We can't actually see anything here. Okay. Well. Let's go back to Teen Topia then, I guess. I think we're on a bit of a dead end there. A couple of pages we haven't been to yet. We didn't go to Grayson's page. Grayson Parker. This is the most popular hypnos page, I, Hypnospace page. I can draw every car or motorcycle for $1. You know there's no traffic analysis. We can't prove him wrong. Oh, he's 14 years old. He's actually supposed to be here. If you go to Lake Wales High School and can give me one dollar, I will draw a car and motorcycle for you. Neat. That's cool. Uh, I guess that's all that's really going on on this page. For some reason, these gears are on fire. That doesn't seem like a great thing for a car or motorcycle. Okay, I was kind of hoping that, that was going to take us somewhere new. Apparently, this awesome rap beat is Grayson's favorite song. 
All right, Jennifer Mitchell. This is not a, uh... Oh! This is Corey's ex-girlfriend. Okay. Corey, Paul dumped me. He says he's met someone else who's very special on here, so I totally get it. I wish we could be for together forever, but alas, it was not to be. Huh. So there's not actually any information on this page. Also, I wonder if these tags are auto-generated, because would she have made Cory a tag on her page if the only thing, if the only mention is of him breaking up with her? I guess she could have, uh, she could have made him a tag on the page while it was still about how positive she felt about him, and then they broke up and she changed the text but didn't think to change the tags, maybe? Uh, 13553... Five, Boy, I wish we could just get it to not auto-load music. Where's my soundscape? I changed the soundscape over to the temple thing instead of uh, instead of the secret forest, and it just like never makes noise. I like the forest better. I like yeah, quieter, quieter than it has been in the past. Okay, there we go. So one three five five three. Let's go back to Corey's page real quick and just first of all see if that's him. It sure is. So you can spoof fake users. The thing is, I kind of thought I remembered him saying that he got broken up with. Oh no, he has broken up with. That's weird though, right? Why would he write on her page that he had found someone really cool, but then write on this page um, that he now I'm on the prowl I wonder... Hmm. This is all very strange. Well, you know what else we could do while we're, um... While we're looking at this, out of curiosity. Were Zane and Jessica using the same, uh... The same ID? 11470. And... 11470, okay. Apparently, this is a thing that's easy enough to do that almost everybody on uh, on Hypnospace is doing it. I would expect the user information to be difficult to mess with. I guess not, though. Maybe it's just something you can enter. Uh, oh, we, we looked at this already. The Zane Sucks Club. Share this page. <laughs> Share this badge on your page if you agree that Zane sucks it. Yo, that's an image of a child getting his head cut off. That's definitely not okay. Uh, yeah. You're not allowed to say that Zane sucks it. Even if he does. Also, what's wrong with that, Corey? Don't be so judgmental. For real, though, this whole, this whole page is not allowed. Every, every part of this is not okay. Again, even though a lot of it's just right. Basically, all these kids suck, and I, I want them all to get off of Hypnospace. Not because I think it's rotting their brains, but because I think they are rotting it. Uh, can I get rid of the Zane Sucks banner? Oh, each of these is a different thing. We are going to get so paid. And then I don't know if that image is... Page text removed. Get him. Ah. I need to... Okay, I th think we managed to get one of the ones that wasn't the already removed one. Kind of hard to tell because they go by underneath it. So what was the, that good version of the virus scanner? It was like really expensive. Oh, I think I got the right one there. Well, it was like 500 Hypnocoin, right? I suspect we're going to need it. Or at least I want it. Because I want to know what's going on with all of Minx's stuff. So is this... This is probably just harassment? Because I think we were told that in general, gory images are not to be reported with the illegal thing. It was just that one instance. Okay. Am I allowed to report the tags? Because he definitely like he definitely put a-hole in the tags. That, that feels like her... Okay, whatever. You know what? I'm going to search jerk. Are there any other pages on Teentopia where people are calling each other jerks? Nope, just that one. How about Butthole? Do I want to do this? Should I have searched Butthole on the internet? Probably not. Thanks? 
No, okay. Most people are too smart to put this kind of stuff in their tags. So, these tags are definitely not auto-generated then. The users are putting them in, because no, no algorithm in the world would auto-generate a-hole. You know what? Yeah, Flag Cory's a character- like, I don't know what is wrong with you kids, but, you know, get your act together. Once again, just wanna- just wanna state for the record, super glad that I was, uh, that I grew up out of my being a young child phase before it was common for kids to have a lot of stuff up on the internet. Uh, okay, well, I don't remember what we were doing when we got distracted. Oh right, I was finding out that Jennifer's not a real person. Useful. Reby Ruthpin. I like praise and worship, squishers, drawing, and more. Okay. This is so amazing. Is that? Nope, that's not a clickable squisher. I'm Reby Ruth, real name Rebecca. I'm 16 in the 10th grade. Okay, yeah, that all holds up. Hypnospace is so cool. Oh, hey, look. I'm a pastor's kid, if you couldn't tell BWL, that means bursting with laughter in hypnospace speak. I wonder, is this a thing that anybody has ever used in the real world? I wonder if they made up some fake teen internet slang? I think that would be a pretty a pretty fitting thing to do, so that anybody who is coming in as an enforcer would look at the slang and be like, what on earth are these kids today talking about? I'm not allowed to message or use chit chat, so if you want to talk to me, too bad you can't. Uh, there's a Counselor Ronnie, Squishers are... What? There's a Counselor Ronnie, Squishers are... Contest ICBI. What? <laughs> what on earth are these kids today talking about? My brother has this on a shirt, bursting with laughter. Oh hey, there's actually... There's alt text on some of these images. I didn't... I think this is the first time I noticed that. I busted out laughing the first time I saw this. Gray's Peak is a Christian parody of Gray's Peak. Oh yeah, okay, that makes sense. Has anyone heard rumors about Squishers being satanic? I'd be, I'd be so bored without it. Uh, I will not be on Hypnospace for the big year 2000 event. I'm going to my cousin's church to pray in the new year. We think the rapture is probably going to happen then. If you're one of the people I don't talk to on Chit Chat, that's, wh that's why. Okay, well... Uh, it doesn't look like any of this is going to lead anywhere to me. My cousin didn't want his game champ anymore, so they gave it to us. My brother thinks it's for geeks, but I've been having so much fun with it. Does She does love some squishers. My favorite praise song is Lord Your Name Is Lifted. They also like old hymns like Peace, Peace, Peace. Hmm. Okay, none of that's terribly useful to me. Apparently Mushi is the name of one of the, uh, one of the squishers. That's a new thing we didn't know before, I guess. What is ICBI? I mean, I'm just gonna search ICBI, see if that brings anything up. I bet it will not. In case boys imagine. I can't I can't believe it. I can't believe it is almost certainly what it is, right? There's a counselor, Ronnie, Squishers, R contest. I can't believe nope, that still doesn't make any sense. This is just <laughs> this is just nonsense. And this is just Counselor Ronnie's page. Counselor Ronnie is like extremely just somebody from uh, somebody from Hypnospace HQ, right? Because his face is the image for Team Topia. Uh, your art could be found featured in a Squishers television ad. Okay. Hey, we looked at this. Yeah, this is not useful. Okay, back to Team Topia. Well, we discovered some more violations, at least. Uh, there are no more pages here that we've not been to. Okay, we could probably then close that case, can't we? Where is my enforcement dashboard? Uh, this did not... Hmm. It didn't update with all the new harassment violations. That's weird. Is that? I would say that those are definitely related, this whole Cory and Zane and Tiff thing. I'm trying to get the dashboard to refresh. All right, well, I guess I'll close the case. Close this case at your discretion. Yeah, I mean, I think we've been, we've been through Teen Topia, right? All right, we're at 231. We're getting there. Kind of expecting to see another, another email show up here. Oh, okay, maybe not. 
I guess let's, uh, let's get... Nope, I'm already at that. I guess let's get back to exploring. So, if we're looking for violations... Maybe this would be a good place to start. Okay, so this is still... This is still the, uh, the same deal... Don't worry about it. Okay, I think that's still the same text back there. And we checked... I did check for Timageddon, right? Yes, yeah, so this is this is the same. And... We already looked at Tiff's page. Actually... Did I look all the way down Tim's page? I think I might have gotten distracted by this link. Story number two, The Tale of Smolder Boulder. Thanks to Tim again for his amazing artwork. Here's my take on Dr. So Smolder Boulder of Sherry the Psychic fame. This is a choose-your-own-ending story, so be careful. Of Sherry the Psychic fame. Dr. Smolder Boulder, have we seen that before? Hold on, I'm not going to get distracted. Let's finish reading this page. Okay, me and Tim, okay, mostly Tim, would like to apologize to everyone for that gross virus thing. It was supposed to just be a joke between us, but Tim thought I actually thought it would be cool to give everyone a joke virus, and it almost got him into big trouble. What in the world? Oh, wow. Finally got a scanner, so I'll be able to upload pictures and drawings. This is me flirting with that girl in the reflection. Okay. I don't know if it's a good idea to just be, like, uploading pictures of yourself to the, uh, to the internet, even if it is, like, as locked down an internet as Hypnospace. Sorry, did that say Techno Wizard? Cynthia from the Techno Wizard. Oh, that's right, um, we saw the Techno Wizard listed, it was on, like, Zane or Corey's page as a, a movie they were into, I think. Out of curiosity. Okay. Everything seems to be in order here. So I can't help but notice that these are both story number two. The true tranquility thing is still up. I'm kind of curious, if we uh, if we just click through one of these, does it still do exactly the same thing? Did I already try this? I might have already tried this. Yep, it totally does still do the same thing. Uh, can I report... Yeah, totally the same. Weird. Weird that nobody bothered to uh, do a thing. If you're Minx, chit-chat me. I have something really good, but I want in first. Okay. That's very strange. Well. Back to Tiff's page. We should definitely have a look at that story. The Tale of Smolder Boulder. Dr. Smolderboulder was a not-nice man. He huffed at his family and laughed at his friends. He stomped through the flowers and double-dunked chips. Oh, the... the monster. He defaces public statues with pictures of lips. It's a poem. Uh, there's also a lot of uh, stage direction written in here. Turns page with a serious face now. Sometimes, Dr. Smolderboulder gets angry. He gets tired of taking the blame. He knocks two and a half times at your door and screams out your family name. Uh, my new scary's been posted. He did the art and music, but I did the story this time. Okay. Turns page with a really serious face. So serious. And if you open the door, turns page with no face. Ooh. He'll tear down your pictures. Knock holes in your walls. Drink your hot chocolate. Pound on your floors. Break your glass dishes. Smash through your table. It's not rhyming anymore. Crack every window if he's willing and able. Okay, it rhymed a little bit. Uh, okay. Turns page while you realize I was never there. It's kind of going somewhere. And when he crouches over your body, he'll stay with a stony-faced grin. You shouldn't have called me a bad guy, because now the doctor is in. Oh no, Dr. S Smolder guy. Sure, live it. This game is based on true stories from Hypnospace. Okay, this is going to be something. You are drinking hot chocolate in your average, ordinary suburban house in eastern Connecticut. What do you do? I love marshmallows. Suddenly, you hear a knock on the door, charged with menace. That didn't... I don't know, that didn't sound all that menacing. As far as door knocks go, that was pretty normal. 
What do I do? I mean, I open the... Let's not be rude. You open the door. In the porch light is a single brown potato. Oh no, it's the son of Tim. It feels like it's watching you. A grim tuber in disguise as an innocent vegetable. What do you do? That is... <laughs> I love the phrase Grim Tuber. That's extremely good. Uh, I mean, it's not my potato. I'm not responsible for this potato. I'm leaving it there. As you raise the cup to your descriptive lips, you hear another knocking at the door. What do you do? Did this... <laughs> did she write this down here to be like, hey, put a descriptive word in there, and then she forgot to go back and actually put in the word, maybe? I... Okay, I mean, open the door. You, you go to your door, and when you open it... There's nothing there. Whoever it was came back and got their potato. That's good. The porch light seems darker somehow. Dimmer. Dangerous. Like a poison soup. That I guess that... Yeah, that's dangerous. What do I do? I mean, why would I turn off the light? I'm just gonna go back inside. You're about to take another sip from your neglected drink. Or maybe the first sip, right? Before you hear a very weird sound. Like an egg that hasn't finished cracking. It's coming from the door. Suddenly, a scream. SB! I don't know what kind of scream to do there, so I did kind of a... Kind of a Keanu! Uh, what do you do? <laughs> Honestly, maybe a little bit of a Takeda. Uh, stay on the couch, are you... No, no, no. I open the door, people are screaming, I want to know what's going on. You open the door and see nothing. But suddenly, you feel something move through you. It leaves a pit in your stomach, like a stone. A stony grin. There's a grin in my stomach, what do I do? Uh, well... Stomach acid's pretty strong. It'll probably break down a smile. Okay, let's just go back inside. Oh no! There's something wrong standing in your living room, guzzling hot chocolate like a car with thin gas. Slam! The cup shatters near your ears like a gunshot. You scream, I seriously never got to drink my hot chocolate! It wanted marshmallows. Dr. Smolder Boulder doesn't have hands or feet. He's smooth and tall and distorted like a baby's foggy dream. Like the first fear you ever had when you were a kid. How does he exist? What is- wait, what is he doing? Oh no... What... do... Where did we see this image before? Was this in one of the scaries? Because th this is not the first time we've seen this. Was it... I want to say that it was- there was a page where somebody was talking about their house being haunted or something and this was the picture that kid drew of the ghost? I must be misremembering some of that. This is one of those things where I'm glad that I uh, have been recording the gameplay up to this point, because I can go back and look. But there might be something legitimately creepy going on here. I guess that was on a publicly posted page. Anybody could have gone and seen it. The vision hits you like a truck. A big one. That is the worst kind of truck to be hit by. Your body suspended as something gets smaller and larger all at the same time. Bigger than the sky and tinier than an ant. It goes inside of you and stays there. It moves. You can already feel the glass between your fingernails and the rocks in your teeth and the splinters of wood in the bashed up leg that doesn't belong to you anymore. Oh no, I mean, this is bad. There's no two ways about that. Yes, the doctor is in. They shouldn't have made him angry. He wanted marshmallows. So hold on, if we go back and we do that again, but we don't, take the marshmallow or we don't put the marshmallows in there how do you <laughs> how do you end a game you know that's a question for the ages what if this is the ending of this game <laughs> this is the last thing you can do in hypnospace outlaw um tim.hsp is just gonna be yeah okay well let's go back i want to do that story again but we're not gonna take the marshmallows this time Okay, we're just clicking through, live it, I understand. Reject marshmallows and all of their false promises. Suddenly you hear a knock on the door, charged with menace. Well, this time I'd really like to drink my hot cocoa, so I'm going to stay where I am. You remain where you are. Why move? You've got a cup of hot chocolate and a peaceful night ahead of you. Or so you think. What do you do? Sip the chocolate of foreshadowing? Yeah, that sounds about right. As you raise the cup to your, yep, your lips, uh, I'm gonna just keep drinking my hot chocolate, actually, because I tried the other thing and it didn't really work out that well. You can't leave your hot chocolate now, it's barely hot! It's weird. So little time has passed, and yet your sweet drink is already getting cold. It's almost like a foul wind is blowing. This is not how, um, quotation marks are generally used, although those aren't even quotation marks, because they 
They can't even get that part right. Sip this chocolate. This chocolate of disappointment. You're about to take another sip. Okay, then this is the same thing. Stay on the couch. I'm not opening the door tonight. You stay right where you are as the pounding ceases and the scream fades away like a paper bag over a skull. It makes sense, right? <laughs> Sorry, the scream... The scream fades away the way paper bags over skulls fade away? Probably she means like as if as if you put a paper bag over the thing that was screaming, and also the thing that was screaming was the skull, which is scary. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Suddenly, you feel something move through you. It leaves a pit in your stomach like a stone. A stony grin. What do you do? Well, I try not to freak out. There's something wrong standing in your living room, guzzling hot chocolate. Okay. The book never said what would happen if you didn't open the door. The cup shatters near your ears like a gunshot. You scream. Thanks for the marshmallows. I didn't give him any marshmallows. Okay, well this story doesn't make any sense now. It only works if you actually take, take the marshmallows and they just assumed that you would take the marshmallows because who wouldn't take the marshmallows? It's a ridiculous idea. Okay, well, I mean... None of that was really a violation. That story sucks, but <laughs> but it's not illegal. Yes, my name is not Marshmallow. That's Tim's dumb idea. Oh, I forgot all about that. Yeah, I don't know. That's probably not, like, relevant here. It's weird, though. It's weird that the story is, like, thanks for the marshmallows. and Tim's kind of a creepy dude. I think he might... He might be trying to hit on Tiffany in, like, a really weird, oblique way that she's not getting because it would be insane to get that. Okay, well, I think we're sort of out of, uh... We're a little bit out of leads then, huh? I guess we're still just looking around, right? Uh, isn't that... The Enforcer dashboard is just like, yeah, look around. If you find multiple infractions, we'll maybe make a case for it after you report them. Just go out and clean up anything you can find. Okay. I do like looking around here in Hypnospace. It's a it's a real strange place. Good Time Valley. Remember the good old days? Don't you have nostalgia for a time that never existed and kind of doesn't even make any sense? Well, we do too. Let us use that to manipulate you. Uh, so stand with Cooper. We saw that. We've been to Bapos. Were we Bapo? Did we go to Bapos after or before the time skip? Well, it all seems to be the same as it was last time we saw it. It is so delicious. Nobody could think that it was not. Uh, okay, Carl P's page we definitely went to before. Because this is how we caught the, the host thing. So he's put up the Beef Brain shield three times. He's very concerned about Beef Brain. Also, he stands with Cooper. You're not allowed to... Listen, I'm going to take it easy on that teacher because I feel really bad. But uh, we are definitely, you are not allowed to have all of these images of Gumshoe Gooper on your page. There's definitely something to be said here about how sort of slipshod, arbitrary enforcement just creates more things that need to be enforced against. Or rather, that the enforcers can take advantage of and enforce against. But also, <laughs> I know this is the point being made, but I do need to get paid. I have things I gotta buy, so. They really shouldn't pay me for each instance. Seems like a bad scheme. All right, we the Hypnospace, Hypnospace page of Carl. This is the same stuff. You may have been able to tell I love to ride bikes. In memoriam of Lisa, my beloved wife. You settled me down when I thought no one could. Right, his, his wife... We read about this. His wife is dead. Message received from dispatch. That's going to be about the Goopers. Uh, you put up with me until I got my act together. You were the most kind woman I met, and you were and you were kind. I, you were kind. T oh, you were kind of tall. What? You were the most kind woman I met, and you were kind. Kind to all. Boy, that's even all the all the correct letters. You are my heart, and I can't wait to see you again. This is extremely sad, and now I feel bad for stepping on this dude's whole deal. He just loves the Gooper, man. Also, he hates beef brain. Look at this microscope scope view of a brain with beef brain. I will not go to your page anymore unless you have a brain shield. Sorry, but that's how it goes. None of this stuff is copyrighted by you, Carl. That's not how it works. 
Well, let's click on his the page of, in memory of his wife. This is very sad. Apparently, he is a sick skeleton on a motorcycle. Oh, man. This guy's really living the life. I hope I can be a sick skeleton on a motorcycle someday. Uh, the graphics are not supposed to look dirty. The rider is me. The wife, my wife is the angel on the motorcycle with me. What about this looks dirty? Does he think that maybe the motion of the bike looks... I don't know. I still remember our rides together. Like that date when you held me tight after going out to eat because you thought I was riding too fast. But I got, <laughs> but I got food poisoning from the steakhouse and had to puke and I was trying to look smooth like a bonehead. I was too proud to tell you I hurled that night right after dropping you off at your house. All of our jokes together that nobody else will be able to get. Why? Jesus. Jesus, the tonal whiplash here. This thing is really shooting back and forth. Okay, well, I'm legitimately sad now. Let's go look at... Oh, interesting. Let's go get some messages. Alert! Change your passwords now. It seems the passwords of multiple merchant soft personnel have been recently compromised. Please change your password immediately, especially if, if you have access to our code base. Huh. That seems bad. Uh, great job cleaning up those gumshoe gooper violations. This whole zone has been a problem for the last two weeks, but none of us want to ban anyone over a silly goldfish cartoon. Well, I think that's a reasonable stance. Hopefully they retreat soon. Okay, add a new gumshoe gooper case so you can cash in on today's violations. You know, I like Samantha. Samantha seems much more reasonable than Dylan. Uh, this is a malicious software notice regarding unauthorized speed boosting software reported in Starport Castle Dream Station. Please use, utilize your enforcement tool to report and remove. That's a new zone for us, right? Uh, note, one of our servers is severely overloaded and keeps crashing as a result. This normally only happens at this rate if someone is using a download accelerator or speed booster to get around Merchant Soft's bandwidth capping measures. Why would that be the thing that happens in that case? What does the internal architecture of this thing look like? It must be really terrible. Well, okay. So we could keep going around looking for more content infringement, but maybe I feel bad. Like I only had to find two. And again, the more the more violations we report, the more money we make. And I do need that virus scanner. I do need that sick new Ferrari. Man, I'm a bad person. We're we're playing a bad person here. I'm not gonna flag this dude's account because he doesn't understand. Like, he knows the thing he's doing is not a thing that's allowed, but... Yeah, I just don't... I don't feel good about it. I just don't feel good about, uh... About flagging him. Let's just report some more images and... Um, granny... Granny Creams Hot Butter Ice Cream. I hate every part of that. Tasty and healthy, too. It says butter right next to where it says ice cream. So I, it's hard for me to believe that it's healthy. We call it Heat and Sip. Soup. It's soup. You got. You invented soup is what you did. Oh my. This is... Oh wow. This is really something. Um... Well... This is not... I mean, there's no goopers here, so I guess we can... This is really something. Okay, well, I guess we're just gonna go ahead and... We're gonna go ahead and leave that page and maybe never come back to it? Uh, I don't know, man. Maybe we don't need to keep messing with these people. I feel a little bit bad. I just think there's something that's actually screwed up that's going on here. And the virus scanner, the, the good version of the virus scanner, would probably help with dealing with that. Yeah, alright. Let's keep looking. Hypno Space Heaven. I don't want to spend a lot of time here in the Memorial Zone, which is going to make me sad. As long as nobody's actually... Yeah, nobody's mourning Gumshoe Gooper. I think we can just leave these people the hell alone. Update. Please stop putting the Gumshoe Gooper cartoon on your pages. Thanks. He's the Good Time Valley community leader. Uh, hi, I'm Mr. Old Fashioned. I'm happy to be the community leader for Good Time Valley, even though I don't know why they picked me. I think it's because I have good behavior. But that is because I don't ever use Hypnospace other than for listening to songs. Okay, well, that's a pretty straightforward page that's not doing anything wrong as far as I can tell. Out of curiosity, hold on. Okay, I don't think that's one we recognize. Okay, I guess let's just uh, look at a couple more. Mavis's page. Oh, sorry, citizen. 
you don't get to have access to the internet. Greg, you are so sweet and helpful. Please send my regards to your family. Greg. Do we know who Greg is? And yeah, this is totally a default template. Like, it even has the template tag still on it. Show me a Greg. Okay. Well, never mind then. We'll just uh, keep an eye out for people who are named Greg, I suppose. Oh yeah, let's see what's up with Noble Warlock. Well, he, supp he supports the Stand with Gooper movement, which he is not allowed to do. Infringement! My brother is a lawyer. Okay, my uncle works for Nintendo, buddy. He said there's no reason these people can't show pictures of the Gooper cartoon, so stop picking on my friends. He's probably right. It's probably not actually against the law what they're doing here. Uh, is there anything else? This all looks pretty much the same. More 3D graphics and information coming soon. Not, like, really soon, though. I mean, is this Stan with Gooper thing... I, you know what? I was about to say, is this Stan with Gooper banner something that we could report? But actually, what we could do is just click on it and then go to all the pages. Alright, I stand with Gooper. A blatant attack on free speech and American values has been carried out by the elites at Merchantsoft and their mob cronies, the HSPD. Alright, buddy. Alright. No illegal images of, uh, of Gumshoe Gooper, though, so I guess that's fine. You're allowed to talk about how you're mad. You're not allowed to show that fish. And somebody already removed something... I just gotta say, anyone else think it's a little odd what they let go on in the cafe? And the kinds of odd ducks hanging around in there? And they are. The... And they are the beginner's hypnospace group? Boy, the use of quotation marks is very arbitrary. Seems a little fishy. I don't think I'd let my kids hang around half those people if I had any. Maybe. Uh, okay. So... The cafe. What is going on in the cafe? One wonders. Hold on, first we're gonna, uh... Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go back to that page, and I am gonna try reporting this I Stand With Gooper banner just to see if that is something that we can get paid for doing. And it has an image of... It, like, it has a partial image of him on it. It might be okay. Okay, yeah, so now we want to go back to all of those pages and pull that down. Except for Abby's pages, which we are leaving alone because I feel really bad. Also, very loud. Very loud fortress. Okay, we're going to get, like, very paid when we turn this in, because don't you get more money uh, for turning in the case with more stuff on it? I think we were told that. And that's uh, in addition to having gotten more money for each of the violations as well. So, let us... what? Uh, this one. We still didn't do this one. Okay, that is definitely illegal infringement. Get out of here with this. Okay, so where where else are we? What, what else was I doing? I was going to the cafe. I was getting distracted. Well, hold on. We should probably finish checking Good Time Valley. Although I guess the only thing we were really looking for in Good Time Valley was the I Stand With Gooper people. And we know we just found all of them. So I guess we could probably just move on to the cafe. Let's see what's going on in the cafe. It's a relaxed zone. I mean, we've been here before. What are they? What are they talking about? Is it still the case? Yes, it is still the case that there's nothing going on at this page. Okay, well, that's <laughs> that's what I was expecting, I guess. Uh, Jazz's software reviews for high-quality reviews on all the HypnoS software out there. It doesn't really... Huh, I wonder what the guy was talking about. All the stuff that's here is stuff we've already seen, and none of it is terribly... Uh, weird. I guess, let's... I am curious about software reviews, though. I love software. Alright, I know I said it- Jesus. Stop. Gary Space Time, slap it up. No, don't do that. Don't do slap it up. Alright, I know I said I was taking a break, but I can't stay away from this place. Still really tired, but it's worth it to be with you all. Uh, so... Janitor Game. Not sure what this is, but I think it might be illegal. It does allow you to score easy HypnoCoin, but I deleted it because I don't want to implicate myself in crimes. Even more reason for us to look into it. This is not a link. Okay, well, we'll go looking for it in a, sec in a second here. Uh, SCG Soundscapes. Good atmospheric software with high-quality sounds. I sometimes feel like I'm falling asleep all over again because it's so soothing. 
would be better if they didn't nickel and dime their users for each and every sound uh, soundscape pack. Four out of five uh, conch shells, for some reason, is the rating system. That's weird. Virtual pets, Professor Helper. Oh, <laughs> good. He should definitely be uh, definitely be zero shells for Professor Helper. Designed to fool naive citizens into downloading it, and then shows them ad after ad, and then you have to pay to get it removed. The fact that he's, he has reviewed it recently makes me wonder if it's still out there, and if it's still out there, if it's maybe linking to new pages with um, Kappa Cash stuff on them, maybe we should re-download it and try to rack up some more violations that way. Dragon ad adopted from Phaedrala. Oh, wow. Dragon Breeder, Master of Potions, Lady of Wisdom. This is... I'm getting distracted. I was going to go look up that janitor thing. Lots of lots of chit chat. I wonder if we're ever gonna be able to actually um, look into any chit chat stuff. The Enforcer edition of this OS totally sucks. Okay, janitor. Well, let's uh, let's hope that this is actually something we can download because I would love easy hypno coin. Welcome to your job, janitor. Want to earn hypno coin? Are you a qualified accounting professional? That's accounting and janitor janitorial duties are not the same thing. Become an independent contractor accountant for Royden Capital today by clicking below. By installing the janitor accounting software, you agree to the terms at the bottom of this page. So, how to do the job to make HypnoCoins? I guess let's start downloading the thing. We don't actually have to install it if it turns out to be something we're not interested in uh, interacting with. So, first we must make piles of five documents by dragging documents over one another. Put the completed pile in the incinerator to make HypnoCoin, only if you deem it necessary for your job. I do. I do really deem it. Put infected files in the incinerator immediately. By downloading and using accounting software Janitor, you, provider, agree to render accounting services to client Royden Capital. So we are doing actual work here, which is weird. This feels like a scam to me. Um, but I guess it's not technically against any of the rules, right? As long as they're using HypnoCoin. Uh, let's see. RDC agrees to pay provider for services by transferring promotional HypnoCoin credits on a regular schedule. HypnoCoin is not legal tender and functions as a prepaid balance to purchase content and services on HypnoSpace only. Provider agrees to indemnify and hold client harmless from any claims or liabilities resulting from the provider's handling of files. Okay, well... I guess let's try it out. Download manager... Did it not... Nope, it's not keeping it in the sort order that I... That's annoying. Alright, well, let's just download and execute this random executable file. I'm sure nothing bad could happen. Alright, let's try it out. Janitor. Welcome to your job. Wow. Uh, I am a mop minion. Okay, sweet. Oh, you lost, and now restart! Okay, I thought we were supposed to drag files together, right? Uh, landfill... Okay, so we like... That made, uh, that made a landfill? Now we have a really big landfill, and now I... What do I... Wait, how does this game work? Oh, that's bad. We're supposed to... What am I supposed to do with these? I'm supposed to... Ah, the incinerator. There it is. It was underneath the thing. That's the problem. Landfill in the incinerator! Is this really it? You just, like, drag things onto each other? Oops. I dragged that too close to that infected file, I guess. So you, yeah, you just want to throw stuff in a big pile. This is a terrible way to earn money. I'm kind of curious if we can level up, though. Because maybe the payout gets better eventually. I'm not going to spend a lot of time doing this, probably. Oh, okay, we have a progress bar. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and just fill the progress bar. We shall see what happens. I apologize if this is maybe not hugely fascinating. Okay, actually, the payout increases uh, sharply. I'm now a sanitation scrub. You know, a lot of people have called me a scrub. I think most of them didn't quite mean this. Why is this a thing that is helpful to their business? This seems like a process that you could automate, but I guess designing a thing to automate the process is probably a lot more expensive than paying idiots on the internet a very small amount of a non-real currency 
in order to do it for you. Yeah, actually, <laughs> from a financial perspective, this is pretty sound. Well, we're just going to keep going here, because we're not actually that far away from having enough money to buy that virus scanner. Uh, I don't know what other ways there are of generating... I guess we still have a case we can close. That's probably worth some money. Let's go ahead and, uh, and level up again. I'm curious if the payment, if the uh, the pay will keep increasing at the rate that has been increasing. Because if we jump up from like one to four and then from there to like 16, if it quadruples every time, that would mean this actually becomes a pretty good way to make money pretty quickly, right? Once you've suffered through the really early crappy part that we already have suffered through. What is the meaning here of an infected file? What are, what are they infected with, I wonder? Also, are we just, we're just deleting their files, right? I wonder if the point here is that um, having somebody who doesn't technically work for you, you know, having somebody who's just a contractor and off-site, not, not a real employee, uh, delete the files, avoid some sort of legal issue. Yeah, it totally does. Just quadruple every time. Well, you know what? We're going all the way up to, I think it was 500 that we needed. We can totally get to 500 doing this actually pretty quickly. This is way better money than actually doing my job. Because we get like 13 HypnoCoin. It's, it's something like 13 to 15 HypnoCoin for each violation we report. We're already getting more than that per pile, and each uh, each garbage document also gives us... It looks like not the full payout, but a reasonable payout. This is actually a pretty fast way to make money at this point, and if it's just going to get better... Hey everybody, let's watch me drag rectangles around. You know what, I play a lot of Forex games on the channel, people don't seem to mind that, and that's not... <laughs> realistically... From a gameplay perspective, not all that different. Although I do have to, there you, you are given access to a lot of different rectangles and you have to uh, pick which ones are important. So I guess that's maybe a little bit more interesting to watch. Well, we have enough money, but now I just want to keep doing this because it's a good way to generate money. And then we can buy all the soundscapes and backgrounds we want. Really, the payment does, it, wrap, it ramps up quickly. I wonder if we have to restart every time we do it, or if it'll like save our level between uh, between sessions. Because if it saves your level between sessions, it seems like this probably becomes your primary money-making tactic pretty quickly, right? It also kind of seems like maybe we're not leveling up anymore. No, I guess the the things are still the little arrows are still accumulating. Well, I doubt we're going to have money problems ever again, then. That's probably... We're probably good for now. Good, I'm good? Okay, I can't actually stop. Uh, I, guess, I guess we have to play until they let us out. Was there anything ab about that in the agreement that we signed? I don't think there was... Well, I was definitely a little worried about um, about frivolous spending, maybe putting us in a place where we might not be able to purchase things that are necessary to finish the game. But it, apparently that's not going to be an issue. We'll just make as much money as we want. In fact, we can never stop making money. Am I going to have to log out to get this to end, or do we just need to maybe like make enough progress? We probably could log out. We probably just like you know, quit the game. That would end it. Although when we come back, it might still be running. I'm a mere trash trainee. We're gonna finish this level and see if it lets us exit. Then, and if not, I'm gonna uh, just do something drastic. But, you know, there's text on these. I can actually see what they are a little bit. Okay, it's just an invoice for something. You can't say that, Dirty Dave's jokes. I mean, this is probably not going to be anything interesting. We don't need to actually look at what we're doing. Let's just throw it all in the pile. I'm not here to read the books, I'm a fireman. 
or a Tetragrammaton cleric, just depending on which version of that story you like better. I will say only one of them has magic gun kung fu, so... Okay, we're, we're gonna level up here in a second, right? And then it's totally gonna let me stop? I might have to hypno-cure us out of this, maybe. I guess once a business finds a cheap way of solving a problem, they are reluctant to relinquish it, right? And I guess, in a, you know, in a way that makes a lot of sense. That way is financially. I did it, I leveled up, please let me stop now. Okay. I think I just had to double click exit. Out of curiosity, if we run it again. Okay, it does restart us. So, if we need money again, we should try to do it for a long time. But now that we've done that, let's go ahead and buy ourselves the advanced version of HypnoCure. That seems like the way to go. Uh, that's not even the right button. I wonder if they're going to just charge me for the difference in price between the one we bought and the good one, or if we're going to have to pay the full 500. I might have cost us a little bit of money by having to buy, uh, by spending some early and then having to uh, buy anything. What is this? Bring back support for net settler pages or else. I don't. Okay. This is a real later kind of problem. No, I will not be paying your exorbitant HypnoCure Pro fee just to be able to load my own page properly. Clicking a safe mode button every time a page loads is not an enjoyable way to browse HypnoSpace. Okay. I get what he's saying. I don't disagree. That said, I'm totally shelling out. It's not real money anyway, right? Who cares? Yeah, $4.99. So Wave Hello is still the most recent virus. I think it's fair for them to alert people to that. It's a very annoying virus. And yeah, we did have to pay the full $4.99. That's a shame. Uh, did that... Okay, yep, yeah, we gotta run the setup. I don't know exactly what we're going to do with this, but I wonder if it is now possible. Okay, so we have a couple of viruses in our quarantine. For me. Okay, clicking on the question mark just brings us back here, but now we have a safe mode button. So out of curiosity, if we go back to Minx's page, like what I'm hoping is that we'll basically be able to like look at the source code for the page and we'll be able to read whatever is hidden in the text back there. Safe mode activated. Safe mode activated. This did not help even one little bit. Can we still see... Yep, we can still see the text back there. Okay, well it turns out that may not have been useful at all. Ah oh, well, it didn't take us long to earn the money and we're still richer than we were when we started playing Janitor. So I guess even if that wasn't uh, necessary, even if that doesn't help us at all, it wasn't a big loss. Uh, but I think this is probably a pretty good place to stop. Thank you all so much for watching. Come back next time for more enforcement. I don't exactly know what we'll, we'll be doing, but we'll probably see a lot of real weird stuff doing it. And that's been the main draw of the series so far for me. And we'll see you then.